In 24 weeks time, I'm going to do at this TikTok, hopefully having learned the basics of coding. I did it. Come on. Today, I'm going to show you what I was able to do after spending six months learning to code, starting with no experience. I didn't spend a single penny and was working full time. I started off a scratch, which is essentially a crap version of Lego. So instead of sticking together different shaped bricks, use different programming functions and using this you can build some very basic games and animations. Then I started learning my first programming language C which you can build real apps and websites with and that's when I started to make my mark on the coding world. And after one month I was able to write code like this where you could upload a picture and then add a filter to it like change it from coloured to black and white. Two months in and somehow I'd managed to build my own trading platform where you could pretend to buy and sell stocks using real data and I had a good basic understanding of the main two programming languages Python and JavaScript. Now I was following an introductory computer programming course by Harvard called CS50. It's free and genuinely just like really good. Uh, I'm usually falling asleep in lectures but these I was engaged I was learning stuff and I just they were entertaining and then November here and I uh, I did nothing I had a load of other commitments but that's what makes CS50 great you can just pick it up as you please and December I rolled on and then it was time to make my CS50 final project which meant making literally anything but this was at the start of December when coding was about to change forever. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Write me a Python script for a game. Oh my, <laughs> why is it so quick? Overnight I went from a complete amateur to, well, less of an amateur. <laughs> of course I didn't use it for my final project. Oh, come on. Uh, please like the video. For my final project, I created a website which made running training plans using AI. I linked the website to Strava to get the user's existing running data and then linked that to OpenAI where I asked it to make me a running training plan based on how much running the person was doing and what they were training for. And that was it. I completed the CS50 course in three and a half months. But my project needed a lot of improvement. I mean, the website design, well, make your own judgment. And the training plans it made were just no good. So I taught myself how to make a fine-tuned AI model and train one specifically to make running training plans. To train AI, you need to have lots of data on the topic you want to train it on. So for me, that was running training plans. If you see on your screen now, that's a page of three training plans. I had to write 300. That just gives you an idea of how long this took. I then redesigned the whole website and it did turn out better than before, but it still needed some work. At this point, I was so, so motivated to do my project, but I started to realize just how lonely and just like straight up brutal programming can be. Like you can spend hours and hours trying to fix something and just get absolutely nowhere with it. And from my experience, it is quite unsociable. It is literally just you at your computer trying to solve problems. Oh, and also people within the computing community can often be, how do I put this nicely, patronizing. But it's just something to bear in mind if you're thinking about doing programming. Uh, as the saying goes, how does the saying go? Oh uh, yeah, if it was easy, everyone would do it. And after six months of coding, this is the website that I've built. Over the last one and a half months, I turned it from a locally hosted project into a live website that you can now access through Google. Being able to go on Google and search in your own website was always just like the most surreal thing to me. And now, if I can actually, I literally can't type it. I'm, I'm that buzzing with it, <laughs> no, I'm joking. But look, this is it, I'm going on my own Google website. So I've actually simplified the website down quite a lot just because I recognize that I don't have much time and I simply want it to be proof of concept. But if I put in some values now, look, uh, for race, effort, and then weekly distance, uh, it should give me a training plan just like this, generated by artificial intelligence. Here we go, here we go, come on. And this is it, look, it makes a training plan. Looking back, it's just like crazy to me how much I achieved spending only 10 hours a week on this. <laughs> like six months ago, I was using software designed for kids and now I've built my own website. And I know it's not exactly Facebook, but it, it's something. And imagine instead of spending just 10 hours a week, I'd spent 20 or 40, like how much more I could have achieved. This whole process made me realize how much you can learn and just achieve in such short periods of time. And like how valuable our time really is. And if you're watching this thinking, I'd love to do something like that, but I just don't have the time. Ask yourself again, do you really not have the time?